would have been better, I think, to have two turrets, just two turrets at the uh, main and none at the barracks instead of one each. Um, and just use the marines at the, the barracks. Uh, the way Sock did that I don't think was, was very good at all. I didn't, he, maybe he just mistimed it or something and, and, was, and didn't realize... And, the mutas got there slightly early, er, earlier than he anticipated, but that that was quite just a fundamental error, I think. Uh, anyway, going into game number two, it is going to be on Circle Breaker, and what are the spawns? Come on, go back to the game, go back to the game. Okay, looks like uh, Sok is bottom right and Quanro is top right. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot to uh, change the uh, change the overlay last game. I, I do apologize about that. Uh, thankfully, it was not a mirror matchup and uh, hopefully every everybody figured out that Quanro was in fact the Zerg and Sok was the, uh, was the Terran. So, uh, looks like they're in vertical spawns, which means that Quanro's overlord is going to go in the correct direction. Interestingly, he's not sending his overlord to the far away natural, which is probably more common, I think? Maybe? Not sure. But, um, it's fine. Uh, funnily enough, what this means is that he'll, he may send a drone scout out towards the top left instead and leave his overlord parked uh, over the natural here at the bottom right, and so he actually won't know that Sok has spawned here for a little while, uh, but I guess I guess we'll see. Because it's a little bit risky to send your Overlord all the way in to the main. That's that's not a great idea. Do, 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 do. Anyway, wait. Did we see a pool already there? I see something on the mini map that looks like a pool. I wasn't quite paying attention, <coughs> as I usually am not. You'd think uh, as a as a commentator, I would actually you know watch the game while I'm commentating, but this appears to not always be the case. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Um, was that actually a nine pool? That's done really fast. That that was done very very quickly. I would not put it past uh, Quanro to nine pool in this matchup. Could have just been an over pool though. I can't quite tell from the timings because I'm bad. You should be able to tell from the Overlord. I think it was a nine pool. Anyway, wait, what? Why is there a second SUV going out here? And what's going on with these SUVs? I get, I guess, I guess because he he just wants to hide it out on the map or something. But I don't know why this first SUV couldn't hide. I don't know what's up with that second SUV. Because I mean, the Overlord even saw it. It's going down to the six o'clock though, so it's definitely just like a hidden scout thing. So he just wants to make sure he has another scouting worker on the map so he can go back into the Zerg base later on when the Lings are camping outside his ramp. Oh my God! Why is there no SUV block here? Uh, Sock, I swear to God, if you die to this. Okay, he's not gonna die. Is he? Is he? Is he? Oh! He's not. He almost did. That was way closer than it needed to be. He could have just pulled two SEVs three seconds earlier, held position on the ramp, and he would have been fine. And instead, he had to do. Oh my god, what are you doing? Go back on the ramp! Get back on the ramp! This is Quanro, man! This ain't Bach for you! This is Quanro! Put those SCVs on the ramp! Don't move! Oh my god, Sock, what are you thinking, man? This is Quanro! <sighs> it's so funny, this is like... Bakker, you even said it. I don't know, I, don't, I think I was talking... When, when did he say it? I, there was some time on stream. Oh, yeah, because Bakker was talking about South Park. He's like, South Park is like Quanro. Both of them, you know they're just gonna make Zerg things and try to kill you. And somehow, like, Quanro still... Uh, made it to uh, an OSL final or MSL finals. He made he made a Star League finals, even though it's like you know he's gonna do this. Come on. <sighs> All right. All right. I'm calm. I'm calm. We're gonna have two H Muta, possibly Lurker, more likely Muta. Uh, and... <coughs> well, SCB guy gets in and doesn't really see anything. Well, he sees the gas with only two hatch, so he knows it's... Uh, or I was gonna say he knows it's two hatch, but now there's a third hatchery there, so... I guess I just suck. I guess uh, that hatchery actually was probably there the whole time. I'm just terrible. <laughs> I'm See, I'm, I'm like, basically... Here's what's happening right now. I'm as bad at commentating as Sock is at playing. 
See? So you, this is like a lose-lose situation for you guys right now. This is like, you know, ter terrible, terrible Terran and terrible commentator combo. Maybe, maybe it's so bad that it cancels out, right? Right? Like two bad things make a good thing or something? I'm not sure how that's how it works. But let's just pretend that's what's happening here. Um, oh, apparently it was the Avalon MSL. Is that the one where, where it was uh, Calm versus Quanru in the finals? I mean, on the bright side, on the bright side in that finals, we saw a 12 hatch beat 5 pool, which was hilarious. You know? I mean, if nothing else, I'll always remember that game. <laughs> anyway. So, what is going on then? I guess it'll just be 3 edge muta? Is that what's going on? It is 3 edge muta. Fantastic. That's some kind of funny, uh funny looking sunken positioning there. He's kind of like walling off the ramp, but I don't know what the point of that is. It's not like, uh, it's not like Sock's gonna get a vulture, is he? I don't think he is. It's kind of weird. Anyway, SCP gets in somehow. <laughs> SCP gets in, because the sunken's aren't actually more. So he's gonna know it is 3 h meter. so hopefully Sock has learned a lesson from last game. And is not gonna immediately die to mutas. You know, these things, the turrets, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. He's gonna poke out a little bit. He's gonna force the uh, creeps to actually morph into sunkens. You know, just to uh, cost his opponent a few extra minerals. And we now have the good old Triforce of sunken colonies. Um, I think someone should tell Quanro that he's playing the wrong game. Triforce actually isn't that great here, but you know, whatever. And the Sunkins are going to be in time. Three Sunkins should be plenty to kill those Marines. <clears throat> By the way, just for the record, because I know there's always somebody who, who just doesn't get it. I'm I'm being uh, highly um, sarcastic when I when I disparage a player like Saki. Is of course a very high level player. I'm sure he was just mistiming something, or maybe just having an off day here. But um, but yes, I mean he is still <laughs> he's still a very good player. <clears throat> Me, on the other hand, I'm, I'm still a terrible commentator, so at least we got that going. Anyway, um, we got a couple of dudes going over to the top left. There's a drone there hiding. He's going to make a third eventually, um, when he feels like it. These links should probably hold position on the ramp so the SV can't get up, although I don't think it matters. Sock will just assume there's a base there. And it's perfectly time scanned to see the Mutalus come out, so that's quite nice. So there's really no excuse now for not having the uh, the anti-air in place. Ooh, that's quite interesting. The, S the SCV actually is allowed in. I maybe he purposely allowed that SCV to go in to see there's no hatchery there, and maybe scare his opponent a little bit here. Uh, but you can see on the minimap the drone is just now going back to make that hatchery. In the meantime, it looks like we do actually have two turrets per location. Fantastic! I like it a lot. Good job, Sock. He's not going fast vessel this time either, so he's gonna have a lot more marines. Hey, there we go. Muta's scared away by the first stem up. Oh, so they're going in the bottom? Nope. And it looks like... Oh man, these Mews gotta be a little bit careful. Um, if you just hang around outside the natural like that and just wait and just use that as like a, a bit of a mini rally point, uh, the Marines can easily run up and, and kill you, but it looks like the opposite has actually happened here where Sock actually left his Marines a little bit too far forward and didn't pay attention and lost a few uh, for free right there, so that was a little bit unfortunate. Meanwhile, another scan at the front is not going to see anything overly useful. Uh, we do have the third base at the top left that should be completing shortly. Meanwhile, wow, apparently there are enough mutas here to just, uh, just attack straight into this, although you can see uh, Quanra having to pull back pretty quickly there when the reinforcements come. You generally cannot just attack headlong with mutas like that unless you have a vast number superiority. I'm talking like greater than one muta to one marine. In the meantime, the queen's nest is almost done. Uh, wants to get up to that hive tech, wants those defilers out. Um, the marines are running around on the map. They're not quite getting over there yet and lurkers should be out. And of course, with these narrow bridges, it'll be virtually impossible for these marines to move across by themselves against lurkers. So, uh... So for the time being, we're just going to see them run around a little bit. They might try and catch a sock, sorry, catch Quanro at the top left before the lurkers are finished, but it's going to be close. I, I doubt they'll be able to. If they can, the game could just end. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there's one lurker there. Actually, if he catches these two, though, that'll be quite crucial. The one lurker there is going to be good, but you need two lurkers to be able to one-shot the marines. 
uh, the one lurker can actually just get forced down by the marines and you can see uh, Quandra is desperately trying to delay these marines a little bit more. A couple more eggs being morphed here. Is Sock actually going to manage to run up here and bust this? Oh my god, this is actually really bad. The lurker needs to borrow but it's going to get targeted down. There's the scan. The lurker gets targeted down there and Lings coming in the back but suddenly Quandra is in massive trouble. Oh my god. I assumed his timing would be fine, but you know, I think you know what happened is that because of the Nipal opening, his whole build was just slightly delayed. See, normally these lurkers would be in time going 3 hatch muta into lurker against a normal uh, fast expand build from the Terran. Those lurkers should be in time before this attack hits. But in this case, it was just not to be. And. Quandro is going to lose his third base, no question about it. He can't even finish off the fours. Yeah, that, that was not going to work. Uh, oh no, and there's a drop of the natural as well. He's killing all the drones. Quandro is not paying attention. Every single drone is dead, and that's the game. GG from Quandro. And a TT from the Observer. What? TT from... Alright, the Observer is apparently sad about this, but... Uh, but Sock is going to take game number two and tie up the score one to one. So yet again, we are going to a game three here for our second series. Very, very good stuff. This is very good.